Got the pup. Are you being cute? Good job. <laughs> Got my bee. Working with Envirotex as usual. I want to try some other stuff too. I think I'm going to order some Pro Marine because I keep hearing a lot of good things. Measuring it out because super important that it's even Steven because this is a one to one ratio resin. I can't believe I got that out in one try. Maybe it'll be a good wording day for me. We'll see. You have to blame it on e science. I know. It'll be like the first one in a long time that's not getting chalked up to e science. For those of you that don't know what e science is, it's basically being blonde. B. Pretty sure. That would make it B science, which is completely different than e science. E-science is officially... In your brain. No, it's the study of... Internet science? No! That's, <laughs> that starts with an I. And nobody uses Internet Explorer. E-science is the study of everything awesome as is seen through my eyes. That's the... Sh the Cliff Notes version. Like, if you look up the class and, like, an itinerary for college under all, like, the class descriptions, that's the short version of what it would say. It's a very interesting subject. Mmm. Mm. I'm surprised that you're not fluent at this point. Then again, the curriculum changes daily. Yes. <laughs> I just don't know schedule. Mooper, what are you doing? You being cute? Nailed it. The floor is so dirty. Pete, it's a studio floor. Well, you guys can see we have this black tarp down. And our floors are already like this. They're they already like that when we moved in. Because this was a but distribution this, center. Definitely a artist place, but that has nothing to do with it. That was like a hundred years ago. That's why it's a concrete floor, <laughs> though, because it was a distribution center for Sears and Roebuck, like a hundred and ten years ago. This stuff that's on the floor. Why they look like that? Look at the paint, different color. And... Did you see the peace sign? Did I ever show you that? That there's a peace sign on our floor from when we moved in. It's right here. I gotta finish that one, then that one, then that one, all this week. Mm, sorry, forgot this table rolls. So what colors are, are you doing these too? No. Well, they're out, so I was just wondering. Okay, so are those? I know, but these were closer, so they came through my face first. And you're just being nervous talk. No, I'm just being regular talk. Oh Sorry! <sighs> <laughs> oh So you had these colors originally set for the red canvas, right? So you decided. Yeah, I was Man. gonna, I was gonna do these colors on the red canvas over there, just because of the contrast. But and then I thought, no, I don't want to do that. So outside of camera frame, before we started filming, we prepped our canvases as usual according to this video. Boink, boink, boink. Boink, boink, boink. Or basically, we gesso it and sand it, but we use house paint because it's cheaper and more economical. 
Because, I mean, that's all gesso is. Gesso is so much thinner, and it's, I don't, I don't understand why people would use gesso. I mean, it, it preps the canvas, but it, it gives us such a thin layer that I guess me just being a, an airbrush artist, I prepped it so, uh, so that it's super smooth. And with gesso, you basically sand all the gesso off. Like, so it's, I've always found that it's better just to use just white, flat white. That's paint, latex. Right? Latex, acrylic, I don't know. I'm it's just, so it's just interior house yeah, paint. Not as fun. Yeah, interior. Flat interior. People have asked us why we don't do acrylic pours. There's, there's one reason why. We did that one and scraped so it off. Waste of paint, right? <laughs> it just turns to mud and mush. It's horrible. Horrible. One day we'll do another one. And we'll post it no matter what the outcome. All right, so Jeff poured out a, not too thin, we usually do thinner, but a good coat of resin over the base that we just spray painted black after we prepped it, according to our previous video. Well, it's, this is, it's such a bigger space that when you separate them, it's only a little bit. Like you could, I could have poured that whole thing over it. Just would have covered the entire thing twice. But when you separate them, it gives you just a little bit less because I'm not pouring it all at once. You're, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So then, after he poured it out on the canvas, he separated it according to how much he wants of each color. You'll probably notice bubbles in your resin. Tea tiny bitty baby bubbles. I knew you would do a little bit. I did a little bit more than that last time. But we're gonna get rid of these bubbles with you can use a heat gun or a torch. Someone commented one time that they prefer a heat gun because it's safer than a torch, which I would usually agree with just because open flame. But um, exhibit A of the dangers of heat guns. Yes, that is the front of a heat gun. It matches this. That was a fun time. It hurt a little bit. What are you going to do? Just a little bit, but it goes a long ways with resin. Ooh, I'm excited about this color. Looks pretty from here. You should be wearing a respirator. <laughs> All in your face. We have a trash can down there. You should probably do this outside. We have a lot of draft in our building. The windows are open. The fans are on. Look, show them. This is a separate cup for people that always ask. Look how much it is, though. Like, it's... Not a lot. Not a lot. If it's any grittier than this, you haven't shaken it up enough. It should be just oily looking. Mm. 
It doesn't take that much. It doesn't. I just like to because if you don't stir up a lot, it still the, the actual metallic will stay on top a little bit. So it should be cool. All right. So I want to start. I always want to start with white, and I don't have a plan for this, so I'm just gonna go with a puddle pour, but a long puddle pour. This will be a first time. I don't. I've never done this before, so. You did oh, a long puddle on your long um, oceanscape. You did long lines, but they weren't a puddle. They were just next to each other. Those are the colors that I'm excited about right there. Is this from what you saw on Nat Geo today? Uh, no, but that would be badass, though. Those are some scary colors right there. Like, those are have to get next to... Um, And try not to combine them. <laughs> the colors that you saw in that geo? Yeah, for those hot springs. It was at the hot springs at the Grand Canyon, and it was the most awesome, like, coral sand and teal water. I want to do a dirty pour. I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. It looks a different color going down than when you come back up. It's weird. On camera. This is just an 8 by 24 canvas. Also, all of the artwork that you guys see made on our channel is available. It's always for sale. We don't get too attached to our artwork. Anything that doesn't sell before April 6th will go into the Deep Elm Arts Festival that you guys should come to if you're in and around or close to or want to make a road trip to Dallas, Texas. Like this, the, all the way that I'm doing is, I've never done. Like I've, I've outlined stuff, but I've never did an outline, then go the inside of an outline. Which it should be something interesting. It just gets dark in there. There's so much left in here. I would save some of it for after the fact, because you know there's going to be areas you want to touch up. No more. Uh, there's some clear in here, so. All right. Which way are you going to tilt so I can I be know. prepared? <laughs> <laughs> this should be pretty interesting. That copper is so orange. I won't get it too hot. All right. Did you heat your resin before you poured it? I didn't. I mean, it's a pretty day out. Yeah. All right. Which way? I'm going to tilt it towards me and over here. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to put tape on these sides. I don't like that. It looks like, it almost looks like a wave. But it's not what I thought it was going to do. Well, what did you think it was going to do? Oh, I still got to put heat on it, so it should be okay. Put some fire on it.
That gold isn't doing anything. This blows my mind. What is it that's muting all this? Is it because of the black? It's gotta be the black background. I don't know, since they're all like opaque colors. I guess I just, I shouldn't have done it. It's such a long pour. That's gonna end up filling up really nicely. That looks really good. Give me the uh, hair dryer. Do you want the attachment on it? That's going to look really good. That part that you're on right now is going to do some awesome cells. It's like that bronze is just not, it's not what I think that it is. And the gold is just completely 100% not. Do you want a point and pick?
So I'll link all of this stuff in the description box below that we use. I'm digging this part. Like, I can't even tell you how beautiful that is. I'm supposed to make you laugh. How are you supposed to make me laugh? You have, you have to be funny, baby. I am funny. <laughs> that, that made me laugh. That's just a rude. You know good and well that I'm basically a stand-up comedian. Saturday Night Live and I are in negotiations right now. Just so you know. That looks good. When you guys use a heat or a heat gun, make sure you don't leave it in one area for too long because you will bake your resin and you'll know. This is not a good time. Say yeah. Uh, let that white oh, heat up and push it. What? I'm gonna say let that white heat up and push it around because that's where all the pretty cells come from. I'm gonna leave it and title this one. What was it? Don't work it too much or no one to stop. Yeah. It's funny, people are, people always talk about, um, they watch a video and they're like, oh my God, just stop, just stop. And you know, everybody else is guilty of doing it. And you just, well, what if I just add this? Or what if I do this? It's so easy to do it, but it's the hardest to just stop, to leave it. I think you should leave it. Yeah. All right, let's get just a long shot of what she looks like. 
while she's still wet. It'll move and adjust and alter itself while it, do you wanna, oh, you already, you already heated it up. Very smooth surface. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching, for checking in to see how Moo's doing. Oh. And in like 12 hours, we'll come back and see how it's doing. That's our dust-free zone. Say bye. Bye.